But yeah, um, I just don't know what to do at this point, guys. <sighs> In our second season, we had four wins. We got we went three and thirteen last year, so we got one more win than last year. So let's try to finish this year off strong and at least get to seven wins. Um, we're facing a two and ten Seattle team. This team is horrible. We should dominate this team like we did earlier in the season. Um, this week we're without Byron Murphy. Oh, actually, Byron Murphy's back. We're without Nate Davis, of course. Jesus, just, man. Like we need any injuries on our offensive line. So we're going to move Trevor Steele, or whatever his name is, to that. Our defense have multiple turnovers. So, all right then. Let's get this one underway, man. Like I said, Kyler Murray is playing better. I think benching him has done the trick because he seemed to be a lot more calm, cool, collected last game. Um, he seemed to be a lot better. So. Hopefully we'll have something good this week. Back in September, the Cardinals dominated their first matchup against the Seahawks. Can Seattle even the score? Find out next on Madden Football. season are complete what works in our final month we're underway in week 14 from a couple yards deep he'll bring it out of the end zone and he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee maybe a yard shy of there at the 24 the Cardinals making their way out and it's the number one overall pick in 2019 Kyler Murray at the helm all right let's go and they'll begin by running the option. And Murray with a smart move there at the end of the play. Picks up the first down and then slides to the ground. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Devin Singletary with his first carry of the game. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. The Cardinals hit four and eight now on the year. And they come in off the extended break from the bye. And I think it was much needed as well because you play two, two and a half months. You know you're ready for some time off in order to get prepared for the home stretch. And in fact, when they looked at the schedule to start the season, I think they liked where they're open to be on third down, they go with Singletary. And he's got the first down yardage as he brings this up to the 47. Give him three yards and a fresh set of downs. A couple of first downs on the drive already. As they'll go from the 47 now on first down. Meanwhile, Murray's throw here into the hands of Moore. And he's down right around midfield after a gain of two, maybe three. Slide to a halt here, still a little shy of the first down marker. Four yards there on the keeper, but still going to bring up a third down. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Murray going to try to throw on third down. And unable to connect. If he had caught it, it would have been a first down. Instead, it's four. Here comes the Cardinals punter now. As the first drive of the game stalls out, he's on to punt. And a nice job here on special teams. This will be down inside the 10 at the 8-yard line. Absolutely love the flexibility of these punters. Their leg drive, able to get it way up in the air. Bro, I don't know what it is, bro. The punt team to get down there and down it he can't keep dropping those passes. Some time. So this game, I'm moving Earl Broden to a left outside linebacker to get him more on the edge because I feel like he's a more dominant edge rusher. Um, earlier in the season, he was on. He was at D tackle. So 
I think with him on edge, he'll bring a lot more pressure and he'll be a lot more of a force. Yeah, so I'm already liking it. You know, at D tackle, he's getting double teamed, and I think it's making it easier for him to get blocked more. So hopefully, he can do a lot more for us. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go. I really like what our defense is, man. We just need some better, better corners, better DBs, bro. Our defense overall is playing playing well and everybody's dropping the ball today is wet so I'm happy to see it's not just my team dropping the ball and here's Dixon to punt now as he gets this one away it's taken to the 26 yeah we definitely need a better kick returner he, he is absolute garbage and the cards will take over first and ten Cardinal offense coming back out. Let's give you a look at the playoff race. Now, this is end of the weekend in the NFC. They fake the handoff. Now, Murray. Oh, my God. Instead of throwing it to the ground, he throws a interception. Oh, my God, bro. Like, I don't even think that's Kyler Murray, man. I'm starting to think this is Madden. Walker now on first and ten. Like, what is that? They're so quick to make me throw an interception. But I rarely ever catch one. Come on, man. That's what I'm talking about. Defense playing well. They're definitely not making that field goal in these conditions. These are some nasty conditions. I don't believe our team is good, but I do believe we're better than the Seahawks. The Seahawks are 2-10. and ten. There is absolutely no reason we should even be messing around with the Seahawks. But to me, there's really no loss here. Because oh, my. All right, man. I can't do this. Let's play it, man. Seahawks are not good. This shouldn't be happening. Now Murray off play action. What? I'm trying to tell Kyler Murray. No, man. That, that's not on me. I'm trying to tell Kyler Murray to lead him. Lead him. Lob it. Instead, he... Oh, my God, bro. The man is open. I don't care what nobody says. Lob it, man. And they'll keep the possession on the INT. So that one overturned. They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. Throw it to Mario. Throwing the out loud incomplete. That's Ferguson. And he's going to be able to see I honestly feel like Madden is trying to make me lose. It's like I've never had that feeling until this season. It's like it's forcing me to make mistakes. Going right back to Ferguson. And they're going to get this down to about the 17 yard line. This man. second and a yard. This should not be that difficult for us to get open and make plays. Like, come on, we have talented receivers, man. Roby Anderson, Rondell Moore, Marquise Brown, like, come on. Zach Ertz. Yeah, those sliders need some work. There's no way this, this high-powered offense at 84 overall can't do nothing. Straight ahead, Walker. 
And the stop will come inside the five at the four. It's a three-yard pickup, and that sets up the first and goal. No score after one on EA Sports. Second quarter now from Seattle, and it is the Seahawks with the football. We're even getting here. decent protection for Kyle Murray. On a first and goal. Oh, they're going to run a little pop pass here. And he's going to score. It's a Seahawks. Come on, man, with that cheap stuff. A great effort there with touchdown number seven on the year. And the Seahawks post the first points of the ball game as they take the lead here in this second quarter. Stand this shit, man. The point after through the raindrops up and go. It's one thing if a team is just better than us, but when Madden makes stupid stuff happen, like, come on. Feast the whole purpose of the game. Murray and the Cardinals with a first and 10 at their own 23. What are they confused about? And they'll run the action to start the drive. Okay, we got a flag. Tough. Now the offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is <coughs> So following the hold, they're in a bit of a hole here with a first and 20. Murray now to throw. He's got a man. Let's go, Keys. Let's go, Keys. That's what I'm talking about. Stop playing with these dudes, man. That's the kind of players we have. I don't get why Madden is acting like we can't do that. From the six. And taken down just past the 20 at about the 21 yard line. Marcus Mariota and the offense heading back out. He had the touchdown pass last time they had it. And they'll start here with a first and 10. Play fake. Mariota. Rush coming and he's taken down. I'm loving it. I'm loving the move. From end to linebacker for Broughton, I'm loving the move. I'm loving it more and more. Let's go. This offense on third down today, just one for three thus far. This will be third and 19. Throwing is Mariota. To the right side and complete to Metcalf. And out of bounds across the 15-yard line. Defense is doing exactly That's what they should be doing. For seven yards, and that'll bring up fourth down. This first punt, 48 yards. This one looks equally as good. And it's fielded at the 34. A 45-yard punt for there on the return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. Murray and the Cardinals with a first and 10 at their 38. They'll give it to Singletary here to start the drive. And that one goes for about six as he's taken down just shy of the 45. The last run got six, now second and four. Dang, New Orleans beat Buffalo. Singletary, they'll go up the middle. An injury stoppage here, and that's Marquise Brown, who appears to be shaken up. Hopefully, Hopefully it's, it's nothing serious for Marquise. Going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. A uh, handoff on the option to Singletary. Uh, he will have the first down as he's brought down up near midfield. When you get left in the NFL of third down conversions, the odds are against you every time you face it. How about picking up that one? That was big for them. And now Murray's going to set up the throw. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back complete. And he'll be tackled on the other side of the field at the 46-yard line. Is going defense on? is worried that whenever anyone catches Our Marquise the back. Steam come out of the backfield, it could turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. 
but they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal game. Let's go, Zach. Nice throw here complete into the hands of Burns. And the tackle going to be made at the 38. And that catch, he just hit number 800 in his NFL career. And just think, that puts you in top 35 range all time in the NFL in terms of number of catches. One significant guy in that number, Shannon Sharp, who was a tight end. That's big time play right there. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Play action. Now it's Murray. Burt has it left side. Let's go, Zach. And he'll be marked down at about the 26 yard Good protection right there from our offensive line. Ways to create space, but on that play, Gave him a time to allow my receivers to get open. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to. Pick up a first down. On play action, it's Murray. And his throw is going to be incomplete. All right, now it's time to try something new. Oh, yeah. The run of the middle should be exactly what we need right now. Oh, my God. We almost had that one. Yes. I thought we missed that one. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks, you tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal, you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. Fielded right around the eight. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. And good starting field position. He'll get this one all the way up to about the 35-yard line. Well, the ball now going back over the Seattle Seahawks offense. As we eat closer and closer to intermission, Charles, remember last time out they punted. They would love to get points here, especially if this is going to be their final possession of the first half. Yeah, and this is what close games feel like because the pressure is on both sides, but sometimes the pressure is a little bit higher on the team with a slight edge because they're trying to hold on to that and trying to increase it. Let's see how this one can take. Well, we got to get him. Hit him. Oh, yeah, he lost the football. I knew it. I knew it. As long as we get a big hit on the quarterback, nine times out of ten, that ball comes out. Score. Gotta try to control the ball. Get positive yards. Singletary here running out of the gun. All right. And it just continues to be nowhere to run. He's bottled up again at the line of scrimmage. <laughs> to throw, it's Murray. Got his man. It's right Roby Anderson. Inside the 20. Inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. All we gotta do is slow it down. This for field position after the big play. Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. A give up the middle to Singletary. And strong running there as he's inside the 10 and down to the 8 yard line. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. They'll run out of the gun with Singletary. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown. Let's go. Devin Singletary. His seventh rushing touchdown of the year. And the Cardinals will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. The extra point up and good. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. 
So the drive there took six plays, and it was finished off by a Devin Singletary touchdown run. Takes it at the seven. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. The Seahawks going to take over now late in this first half. Well, not much time remains here in this first half. We'll see if they can get something out of this drive, at least a field goal. They could certainly use it down by two scores. First down, Mariota. Open man, that's Noah Fant, the tight end. Now the Seahawks going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 34 seconds to go before halftime. Mariota on first down, going right back to Fant. Now another timeout called. Playing good defense, defense, man. Good Chinese defense. Down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Come on, Earl. Get to the quarterback. Mariota. Broad, they're on the pressure. That's what I'm talking about, man. So back to back plays each get nothing. And it brings up third and five now. And they use their third and final timeout. And with half time on the horizon, the pressure is all on Seattle at home. Mariota. Oh, intercepted by Isaiah Simmons. Isaiah going the other way. Isaiah. And he's down at the one. An unfortunate sequence there, trying to get points before intermission, but now the interception, and their opponents have a chance to possibly pad their lead. Yeah, they had an opportunity there, and they weren't How's able to capitalize on it, and that's something that could come back yeah, and them later. They're begging their defense now to keep them from scoring before they have it. And he'll take this one in for the Arizona touchdown. A great play there with his first career NFL touchdown. And the Cards would extend their lead here just before halftime. Extra point right down the middle. And that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. So not much time to work with here. Nine seconds remain in the half as this one is away. This one fielded at the five. And he won't quite make it to the 25. No reason to do anything foolish as they'll snap it one more time on first down. And with time running short here, they'll simply take a knee and that should do it for half number one. So we have reached halftime with the visiting Cardinals out in front. As we'll send you back over to Orlando with our EA Sports Halftime Report, here's Jonathan Coachman. All right, Brandon, we'll get back to you and Charles in a bit. But first, let's get to some of these scores around the NFL here in a busy week 14. We'll start our tour out in the City of Angels, Los Angeles. And it's the Bengals who have the lead in the second quarter. A couple of touchdown passes there for Joe Burrow. From there, let's head off and check out a second game. And they fall in that one to the visiting Indianapolis Colts. Teddy Bridgewater leading the way in the victory with... Well, we're in the latter stages of this season. Everybody's getting antsy, so antsy that we're going to skip the halftime and get ready for the third quarter. Okay, Coach, thanks as always to you and the gang in Orlando as we welcome everyone back in for quarter number three. Forecast calling for more of the same. The rain set to continue as we are underway in the second half. This one fielded at the five. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. The Seahawk offense set to go to begin this third quarter. And you have to think, Charles, down three scores already. They need to play an almost perfect second half to have a solid chance. And that absolutely starts with finding some way to put together a touchdown drive here. They need to be smart, fast, efficient, get the ball to the end zone, and do it again multiple times in order to have a chance to win this game. Now on second and 16, Mariota. He's got a man complete. And he's brought down inside the 20 at the 18-yard line. Excellent execution, and now they're set up nicely. Are they ever? Red zone, 
I wonder what the next play call is going to be because after a big play like that, a lot of teams like to use the momentum to launch another one. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. Back-to-back -back nice plays, 12 yards that time and a first down. From the shotgun, this will be Dallas. And that'll move him a little closer as he takes it from the seven down to the four-yard line. Second and goal from inside the five. Valmariota. Touchdown, Seahawks. Noah Fant from four yards out. And the Seahawks are able to cut into this lead as they score on the opening drive of the second half. Extra point up and through by Myers. And the lead down to 10, 24-14. After the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. The Cardinals offense now ready to get their first opportunity here in the second half. And they were terrific in the first half, built up a sizable lead, and it's just been cut into a bit following the opening drive score on the other side. But this is a unit that has to be itching to get the football again. You can say that again. They've got to be pretty eager because, let's face it, they've had to sit through halftime and sit on the sidelines and watch that drive. So you can bet that they're saying, let's get on with this. we got to go out there and get some more points. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. They go right back. And a loose football. And the Seahawks have picked it up. And his guys are going to take over at the 31-yard line. And maybe that one caused by the weather. Of course, the rain coming down. Charles, can you maybe, when you're carrying that football, grip it too tight in the rain? I think that you can, and it's such a depth. Nowhere to turn here, and he's going to go down. Back at about the 37-yard line. He couldn't get rid of it. He takes a sack for a loss of six to bring up second down. Another try after the first down sack. Mariota flushed out right. And he'll slide to a halt here. Still a level shy of the first down marker. In danger of squandering their great field position as they come up on a third and seven. Mariota now. And they're going to get this down inside the 20. It certainly appears that he's been able to get a read on how they want to contain him in this game. He's seen some places where he can beat them in big spots. And right there, he slides in with ease for the first down. A first down throw for Mariota. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. He couldn't get rid of it. He takes a sack for a loss of six to bring up second down. Out of the gun, Walker with it. Nifty move. They'll get him to the ground at the 20, following a pickup of four. Well, they still have time to get him established, but in my estimation, they've got to pick up the urgency here. They've got to get quickly in and out of the huddle and run off a bunch more plays. Mariota from the gun on third down. And he'll only get this to the 17, well shy of what he needed. He'll wind up getting four yards there on his own, but it also brings up fourth down. Now here's Jason Myers. He gets set for the Seahawk field goal. This will be a 34-yard attempt. Myers' kick is good, and this is back down to a seven-point game. So they got the turnover started with great field position, but in the end, the defense able to hold firm, and they only get three out of it. And I like what you said right there, that defense able to hold firm backed up into the shadow of their own end zone. Goal post right behind them. They had to make sure they didn't give up the six. And boy, they came through in a big way. To them, even though they gave up three, that's a win for their side. Arizona getting ready to go as they take the field. And last time they coughed it up, led to a field goal. They're fortunate that it only led to a field goal, but still, they're not happy about it. Could you sense the relief, though, when they only gave up the field goal? <laughs> 
and they were able to trot back out on the field to start this drive. A little more pep in their step because they didn't cost their team a touchdown, but they know they've got to do it a lot better than they did on the last possession. The coach will just be relieved, though, if they recoup with a score here, right? I think Coach would be ecstatic to see them pick themselves back up and now take it downfield, punching the end zone without turning it over. The decision to keep it turns out to be a good one. 11 yards in the first down. Singletary going to get the handoff. And he's going to be brought down inside the 45 at the 43. 68 yards on the ground for him so far. A good run. Got seven on first. Here's second and three. Singletary again. And a good job of finding the open space to run as he's down close to the 30 here. 12 yards to pick up. Good enough for an Arizona first. A handoff on the option to Singletary. And he's got it down to the 28. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Back now in Seattle, Washington. It's Cardinal football. They're also out in front of the scoreboard as we get set for the fourth. Second down, here's an option right. And Murray with a smart move there at the end of the play. Picks up the first down and then slides to the ground. That'll go as a pickup of eight. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and ten. From the red zone, here's the Heisman Trophy winner, Murray. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And they're going to get this down inside the 15. Looking to throw again on second down. Murray. And he finds his tight end. It's Ertz. And the Cardinals are going to have a first and goal as he'll be taken down at the seven-yard line. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. They run here with Singletary. And a little bit of space there takes it inside the five to the three. A pickup of four on first down. It'll be second and goal. Get him down just shy of the goal line at about the one. Call it a gain of a couple. The defense stiffening here. It's third and goal. And this is why aggressive defensive coordinators love to blitz. And Reeks have it because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers. And he will get into the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. A great effort there. With two touchdowns on the season, both in this game. And the Cardinals look like they're going to get back in the win column as they extend their lead here in this fourth quarter. So that one a long 11-play drive. And it ends with a one-yard touchdown run. The Cardinals set now to kick this one away, and off we go. And no thought to bring this one out. He'll just go down to a knee, and they'll take over at the 25. The Seattle offense now set to come back out on the field. And last time, able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just, I, I like the way you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. He's got a man complete. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. To throw is Mariota. And that is knocked away in the middle of the field and incomplete. Quarterbacks work all the time on manipulating a defense with their eyes and their head movement. In this case, he just stared the receiver down. That allowed for excellent coverage, able to knock that one away. 
Throwing again on second and ten. Mariota eluding the pressure right. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. In need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much sense. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Intended for Desperation time. Mariota on fourth down. He's got his tight end fan. And he is going to have a Seahawks first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. From the red zone now, Mariota. He's going to flip that out to the flat. It's complete. And the Seahawks are going to have a first and goal as he'll be taken down at the seven-yard line. Good yardage on the completion there. When they look at the scoreboard, they do understand a field goal is not going to do them any good. My guess, they're going to press the ball downfield as far as possible, try and throw it into the end zone and get a score because they know they've got to get that done and get the ball back as quickly as possible. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. They'll try again here from the seven on second and goal. Mariota again. And he'll slide to a halt here. Still a little shy of the first down marker. He'll wind up getting four there on his own, but it will leave him now with a third down situation. Kudos for the defense from me on that one because they were prepared the whole way for him to try to escape and hit them for more yardage running it. I like the way they stayed zeroed in on him and kept him contained when he pulled the ball down. I think he was fortunate to get what he did on that run. Being chased. And he is in for the Seattle touchdown. Marcus Mariota. A three-yard touchdown run. And the Seahawks have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. Myers connects on the PAT. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. From the six. And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20, call it the 21. Here's the Arizona offense now as they get set to take over. After the touchdown we just saw, we have a brand new ball game. And now look at the situation. You've got plenty of time on the clock. Defensively, they have three timeouts. So do you run the football here or do you throw it? I think you have that full conversation with your offensive unit. And you tell them, here's the situation. They've got all their timeouts, so we are not going to play this conservatively. We've got to attack them. We've got to make them use those, gain the ground that we need in order to put this game away. If you think we're just going to run it three times and punt it, you've got another thing coming. Yeah, and by the way, also the two-minute warning in play, so essentially four timeouts left. They have to be aggressive here. They'll run on first down with Singletary. And not able to break away this time as they're going to stop him right around the line of scrimmage. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes. And we've got a one-score game. So the Cardinals, they've got the football here as we get you reset. Another running situation on the doorstep as they come up second and ten. On the give, this is Singletary. And again, he's going to be stopped up right at the line of scrimmage. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. To throw is Murray. This is Anderson over the middle. And he'll only get this to about the 44 as they stop him short of the line to gain. Here comes the Cardinals punter now as he'll kick it away for the second time. And this will be taken at the 13. It'll be a 40-yard punt, eight on the return. And it'll be Seahawk football first and 10. Mariota sets to lead this offense. Down by seven, just over a minute, 40 to play. A four straight defeat looming on the horizon, barring a comeback here as they've got it with a first down. This one into the hands of Metcalf. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Holding. Offense. 
Well, your QB's been sacked four times in the game already, and they're the holding goal. And you know darn well the offensive line coach is frustrated and upset that he's been hit that many times already. He doesn't really care that they hold now. Just don't let him get hit anymore. Mariota. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. Clock running, and the Seahawks, they're running too, trying to speed up to the line of scrimmage. Now a throw here to his running back. Had a nice job to break free of one tackle, but it slowed his momentum somewhat, and he's taken down right after. Here's Mariota. And that is incomplete. But that incompletion reality is staring them right in the face. This entire game is down to the next snap. Mariota to throw for it on fourth. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And now possession will go over inside the 15-yard line. Well, their first fourth down attempt earlier was successful. This one backfires for a turnover on downs. I like their aggressiveness. I like what they're doing. They got it the first time they went for it. Why not a second time? I don't think they'll be daunted from attempting it again. If you're on the defensive side of the ball, though, any fourth down stop is a big momentum play. Yeah, it's fun to kneel down in front of your home crowd, but when you go on the road, that band of brothers attitude, right, just us against the world, and get it done, <laughs> I feel that. I remember a coach at a previous stop telling me, you get a win on the road, doesn't matter the opponent, get out of there like you stole something. And they, <laughs> they did in this one. Down to Anigos Murray as that will just about wrap this thing up. So it's a win here for the Arizona Cardinals. And say what you want about Lumen Field here in Seattle, but for my money, this is the loudest and most difficult place to win in the league when you're on the road. It's very hard. The fan support off the charts. The way that they make noise and understand when to make noise, they understand the game as well as anyone. And how about what we get in our, our media packets when we start preparing for the game? They have it in their own stuff, right? The number of offsides penalties, false start penalties that they draw against the opposing team because of that fan support.